At high altitudes with low oxygen and freezing temperatures, mountains are without a doubt one of our planet's harshest climates. Mount Everest, the world's highest peak, has reported temperatures as low as minus 66 degrees Celsius and harbors an estimated 150 bodies of climbers who succumbed to these brutal elements. On the other hand, the very same hostile environments that make survival difficult serve as the ideal conditions for preservation. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mountaintop discoveries. A Museum Unveils a Frozen Maiden In 1999, archaeologists in Argentina discovered the mummified remains of a 15-year-old Incan girl, now known as the Maiden or La Doncella, on the summit of Mount Uyayaco, a volcano on the Chilean border. The young woman, who is believed to have lived around 500 years ago, was so well preserved due to the thin, dry mountain air that her organs were found to be completely intact and blood was found to still be present in her heart and lungs. Scientists were even able to analyze the contents of her stomach and recognize a bacterial infection in her lung using a new forensic technique, in which they analyzed tissue proteins rather than DNA. Her skin and facial features remain almost completely unblemished to the point that she appears as if she is still alive and just sleeping. The remarkable young woman was found in the modern-day province of Salta, alongside two other children, nicknamed the boy, El Nino, and the girl of lightning, La Nina del Rio. They are collectively known as Los Ninos, or the children, and they are believed to have all been part of the same sacrificial ceremony as once performed by the Incan people. These ceremonies, traditionally called Capacocha, were used to mark important events, such as the passing away of an emperor or as an attempt to appease the gods in times of trouble, such as during a drought or famine. Typically healthy, well-cared-for peasant children were chosen for such ceremonies, which was considered an honor. The selected children were then fattened up in the months leading up to the ceremony. They were fed maize and animal proteins, foods usually reserved for the well-off and the elite, as opposed to their standard diet of mostly potatoes. The contents of her stomach confirmed the shift in her diet. During the ceremony itself, the children were marched hundreds of miles to and from Cusco, the Incan capital. Feasts and mini-celebrations were held in their honor up until the day they were led by Incan high priests to the mountaintops to meet their ultimate fate. The children were made to hike to the peak alongside the clergyman, an incredibly strenuous and grueling task they were often given stimulant leaves in order to guarantee their safe and timely arrival. Once at the burial site, the children were then given drinks of ethanol, likely chica, or maize beer, to calm their nerves. They were then attacked or repeatedly hit and left to freeze on the icy peaks. Forensic tests on the maiden's hair suggest that she began her use of stimulant leaves one year before her loss of life, probably around the time she was selected as a sacrifice, and that her use of alcohol increased greatly in the last few weeks of her life, possibly due to nerves, but more likely due to her participation in all the smaller celebrations leading up to the final ceremony. Fear of deterioration kept La Doncella from being displayed for some time after her discovery, as archaeologists worried that she would quickly fall apart after being removed from the summit. Today, she is on display at the Museum of High Altitude Archaeology in a triple-paned glass case, with a computerized climate control system meant to mimic those perfect mounting conditions that kept her so perfectly preserved for hundreds of years prior to her discovery. 1,200-year-old Viking sword discovered on Norwegian mountain From the late 8th century until the early 11th century, the Vikings ruled the seas with fear and acts of violence. During this period of the Middle Ages, these sea-traveling warriors exercised their widespread command by trading, colonizing, and raiding countless civilizations across the European continent and venturing as far as Asia and even North America when they crossed the Atlantic five centuries before Columbus. During their 250-year command of the sea, these Norsemen established themselves as a historically significant civilization, 
leaving behind many artifacts unique to them as a people, such as fragments of a rudimentary sled and snowshoes made for pack horses. These relics give us insight into the daily lives of a society long lost but not forgotten. In 2017, a small group of men hunting reindeer in the mountains of Opland County, central Norway, made one of history's most remarkable archaeological discoveries in regards to this fascinating people. Wedged between two rocks, the hunters found a rusted, though well-preserved, Viking sword likely to have originated between 85 and 950 AD. It is one of many new discoveries found in connection with the new improvements being done to Norway's E39 highway and, according to a Norwegian glacial archaeology organization, Secrets of the Ice, a result of global warming melting a once completely frozen terrain. Though estimated to be thousands of years old, the sword's remarkable condition can most likely be attributed to the low pressure and extreme cold of the mountaintop, both of which likely prevented further rusting or degradation. Its handle, which was likely organic, made of bone, wood or leather, as tradition held, did not survive the centuries as well as the blade itself, which is, by all accounts, heavier than expected and extraordinarily robust. Science cannot, however, determine how the sword ended up on the lonely mountaintop. The surrounding area was scoured for related artifacts, but archaeologists came up bare. It likely belonged to Viking swordsmen, but how or why he ended up alone, so far from civilization, is up for speculation. It is theorized that he was separated from a group during a snowstorm in which he perished, only to be dragged away by local wildlife, leaving behind only his sword to tell his story. Kolima Woolly Mammoth Before modern-day humans or Homo sapiens, came a series of archaic humans of the same genus. They first spread throughout Afro-Eurasia during the earlier Pleistocene era, commonly known as the Ice Age. Later, in this same era, began the spread of early modern humans throughout the rest of the continents. It is during this late Pleistocene era that the final discovery on our list originated. In 2007, in a gold mine in the Kolyma Mountains in northeastern Siberia, a nearly complete mummified woolly rhinoceros was discovered frozen on the southern stretch of the Kolyma River. The animal was found to be female and believed to have fallen in the icy river at three or four years of age. The animal, which was dated using a rib fragment and a method of a radiocarbon dating method called accelerator mass spectrometry, was found to be an impressive 39,000 years old. The mummified remains were incredibly well kept, boasting a nearly complete left side, including a thick, grey skin, covered in brown fur across its still intact face and complete left ear. The creature's skull was found to be whole, with its jaw still attached, along with the two horns atop its snout, which give the creature an appearance reminiscent to that of the modern-day rhinoceros. Both fore and hind legs remained attached, as well as its brown fur-covered tail. Based on its sheer size, archaeologists estimate the rhinoceros to have weighed a ton and a half at the time of its passing. Most of the animal's internal organs were lost to time, though its intestines and stomach, along with its contents, remain, giving archaeologists a glimpse into the mega-herbivore's diet. Through pollen and spore analysis of these contents, scientists concluded the rhinos lived mostly from grasses and sagebrush, commonly found in the Siberia tundra. Although the spread of early humans across the planet and into their natural habitat was originally thought to be the cause of the species' demise, scientists now theorize that this megafauna, whose DNA revealed genetic mutations catered to cold weather adaptation, ultimately succumbed to a drastic change in climate when temperatures rose too high for the Ice Age species to tolerate. But what do you make of these three interesting discoveries hidden in the ice? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.